A common tool used in Blackboard is the discussion board. If you have ever commented on an online video or on someone's profile on a social networking site, you may be familiar with how a discussion board works. Your instructor will tell you whether the discussion board will be used for your class. Some course sites will have a discussion board in the course menu, but in this site I will need to go into the communication area and select discussion board. Here you can see the instructor has set up several different forums with instructions. For example, Forum 1 asks students to introduce themselves and list three of their hobbies. I'm going to make a post in this forum. Within Forum 1, we can see a list of responses or threads that others have written. So here, a thread has been created with the subject, Hi. I'm going to begin by making my own thread by clicking on the Add Thread button. This page asks me to enter a subject and a message, similar to an email. My subject should describe what the thread is about, so I'll put my name. In the message box, I will type my response. When I am finished, I can post this message by clicking Submit. Clicking Save will save my work as a draft if I need to finish it later. The post cannot be read by other students or my instructor until I have clicked Submit. Now let's look at how to comment on someone else's post. Click on the thread that you want to comment on and use the Reply button. Again, you can type a message and click Submit. Notice that you can see the chain of replies for each thread by using Tree View. List View shows individual threads and the number of posts. You can toggle between these two views. You can also utilize these additional functions of the discussion board to collect, flag, or mark threads as read or unread similar to the tools you would see in your email. For more help using Blackboard, contact the Blackboard Help Desk.